today on Santa Monica Update. There's a new interactive flying experience at the Museum of Flying that will literally turn you upside down. I'm Yana Kay. The details next. Find out how Santa Monica kicked off the new year with Eat Well Week at the Santa Monica Farmer's Market. Claire Foundation has been a beacon of light in Santa Monica and surrounding areas for nearly 43 years. We'll give you a sneak peek inside where lives are changed for the better. We have those stories and more news in the city of Santa Monica coming up. I'm Keena Chen. Santa Monica Update. Your source for local news in Santa Monica. Santa Monica Update starts now. Welcome to Santa Monica Update. Landlords and property managers were put on notice again recently that tenants may not be harassed in the city of Santa Monica. How is this made clear? A payment of $12,000 in damages was paid to a tenant and the city. George Bassery, owner, and Gilbert Rodriguez, property manager, must also end direct contact with the tenant and attend fair housing training. Gary Rhodes, deputy city attorney, says the case involved a landlord's campaign of baseless eviction attempts. The city alleged that the owner and property manager attempted to get a senior citizen tenant to vacate her longtime rent controlled apartment. This is the kind of misconduct that Santa Monica's tenant protection law was designed to prevent. If you need info on consumer protection or housing issues in Santa Monica, you can get it at the City Attorney's Consumer Protection Unit. Find them on the web at smgov.net slash departments slash CPU. There's a new landmark in town on Main Street. It's the building where the noted designer, Park Meek, who passed away in early 2010, had his very unusual antique store and prop shop called Jadi. The Landmarks Commission says the building anchors the block with a slightly heightened and architecturally distinguished corner unit that steps down to the southern two units. Historically, the property set the scale for the block and now serves as a visual and spatial anchor that recalls the early commercial streetscape that once characterized Main Street. The intact storefront elevation along Main Street is one of the most architecturally evocative streetscape elements remaining from the 1920s on Main Street. Additionally, the existing Art Nouveau inspired storefront designed by Park Meek in 1981 is a later addition that has attained recognition as a familiar visual feature of the commercial streetscape along Main Street. The next time you're in the area, why not take a moment to appreciate this fine building? It's on Main Street at Hill. The Museum of Flying is known for its vintage aircraft and cool planes. And now visitors have a chance to really get in on the action. Thanks to a new ride, Yannike has more. This cool looking pod is the newest attraction at the Museum of Flying. It's called the Max Flight Simulator and is designed to give visitors the ultimate thrill ride. I have sort of uh, the jitters right now, you know, a little adrenaline rush from the thing. So. <laughs> Do it's, it again? It's great, yeah, I'd do it again in a, in a second. When a rider is inside the pod, a technician oversees their every move from this computerized screen. It's uh, state of the art, it's 3D, it's high, high definition, it has 360 degrees uh, range of motion, both, both pitch and also roll. So it, uh, it's, it's not it's for really, the faint of heart. <laughs> no, it's not for the faint of heart, and it's really about the closest you can come to actually flying an airplane. Once inside, the rider has full system control of the aircraft and can choose from dozens of different flight scenarios. Now there's a few things you can do in here. You can fly a plane, you can engage in combat, or you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I decided to experience the roller coaster. It was quite a thrill and nothing at all what I had expected. I warned you. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> there is an age limit and a $5 fee to ride the simulator, an experience that is well worth it. I'm Yana Kay for Santa Monica City TV. If you'd like to learn more about the flight simulator and its high definition 3D visuals, visit museumofflying.com. January is California Restaurant Month, and to celebrate this culinary occasion, Santa Monica launched its inaugural Eat Well Week with the help of a few local celebrities. Tamara Henry has the story. January happens to be Popeye, the sailor man's birthday month, and he is actually a Santa Monica native. E.C. Seeger uh, actually created him here in Santa Monica, and in the storyline, he was born off the coast of Santa Monica during a typhoon. Popeye, the sailor man, boop, boop. 
Kids who grew up watching Popeye eat spinach now have kids of their own. And families were sampling healthy, spinach-inspired dishes from three Santa Monica restaurants. La Conda del Lago, The Lobster, and Ocean and Vine at Lowe's Santa Monica Beach Hotel. What a hard job this is. Ooh. Where's Popeye? I heard he was a local guy. We have a sp house-made spinach pasta. Spinach makes us strong. Yummy. Right. And okay. a spinach and ricotta filling with a spinach garlic sauce. Mmm, I can smell the garlic. Doesn't that smell good? Mm, it does. And you know what? It's really cool because you're set up right here. Oh, look at those ravioli. Mm. And your restaurant is right there. Exactly. We so. just, started, we're about to celebrate our 23rd year um, in business. What? Do I have spinach <laughs> in my teeth? Nope, you're looking good. <laughs> so this is the famous lobster restaurant. Everybody knows it because it's right there by the pier. And uh, so you're one of the three lucky restaurants. What are you serving today? It's inspired by my wife. She's Greek. So basically what it is, it's a spinach spread with feta cheese, uh, pine nuts, olives, and uh, Aleppo pepper. Wellness <laughs> is a huge part of the Santa Monica lifestyle. Um, you see so many people biking around town and, you know, toting their yoga bags and, around. And um, certainly our culinary scene is inspired by the fresh farmer's market produce that we're so fortunate to have here. I work out at the Traveling Rings, you know, so it's a great combination. You work out there, come over here, and you're hungry, so it's like... Uh... I hear you're a local guy. Yeah. And so everybody that wants to try this can come to your restaurant. You're actually inside of Lowe's Hotel. That's right, with a beautiful ocean view and Santa Monica Pier view. Beautiful food, beautiful view. Yeah. So we're going to look beautiful when we eat healthy for 2013, right? <laughs> Absolutely. My intention for 2013 is to get back in the gym, uh, to uh, build my testosterone as I go into my 50s, and so uh, <laughs> get strong and lean and mean. And Just so, like Popeye, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a saying, pay now or pay later, pay the doctor, pay the farmer, it's your choice. I feel I've got, I've got green stuff on my teeth. Oh, and I got any spinach in my teeth? Oh, that was the running joke today, but we are all in line for a healthy 2013. Reporting for Santa Monica Update, I'm Tamara Henry. Visit santamonica.com slash eat well to discover some tasty solutions for your New Year's resolution. The Claire Foundation quietly goes about its work of saving lives through recovery and reaching out to school-aged children with prevention programs. Our cameras visited the foundation to check out a new woman's facility and more. Gail Choice has the story. Claire Foundation's new women's treatment program facility located on Pico Boulevard recently opened its doors to women reclaiming their lives. Claire Foundation is a nonprofit organization and we're provide treatment, prevention, and uh, recovery services uh, to the uh, individual, the family, and the community. Our women's uh, residential treatment uh, now houses 40 beds, and it allows Claire to have gender-specific treatment from the time you come in and detox through long-term sobriety. Claire gave me my life back. Claire gave me a life that I didn't even know I could have. They provided me a safe place full of love for me to get well. Successfully completing the sobriety program, Amy made the decision to stay with the foundation to help other women. There's nowhere else where you can get this kind of help and these type of resources and live at the beach and get all this love and help and, and this unity of women and it gives you more than you even expect. The Claire Foundation has been in Santa Monica for some 43 years, and they provide treatment services for about 3,000 people a year. Over 30,000 people a year turn to us for help, meaning they come to Claire looking for some kind of uh, assistance, a referral, uh, or entry into one of our programs, one of our residential or outpatient programs. Claire targets our youth with a prevention program. Well, prevention is, is actually uh, a, a new focus in uh, publicly funded uh, substance abuse services. We go into the schools and we offer individual counseling, group counseling, we offer classroom curriculum on drug education, and all of our curriculum satisfies California state standards. The big thing is that this is free. 
to all the participants. So our programs are actually free of cost for the schools, the participants, the community centers. Um, of course, we're always looking for new funding sources to keep providing these really important services to the youth. Clarity for Youth operates in 13 different schools. Gail Choice, Santa Monica Update. If you're interested in learning more about the Claire Foundation, you can find their website at clairefoundation.org. The Big Blue Bus is sporting a new website with quite a few useful features. If you want to know when the next bus is arriving at your stop, or if you're not sure which bus to take to your destination, click on the Route Wizard tab at the bottom of every page, and you'll find the info you need. With service alerts greeting you at the top of the home page, you'll find the latest news that may affect your ride, such as detours, temporary bus stop closures, schedule changes, and more. And if you're worried that you might have left something on the bus, click on Contact Us and fill out a lost and found form, and a customer service representative will contact you ASAP during store hours. All this and more is yours online at BigBlueBus.com. Driving around the block looking for a parking space is now a thing of the past in Santa Monica with the release of a parking app for iPhone. Santa Monica Parking provides real-time parking information for the city's 28 lots, 12 structures, and 5,967 on-street metered parking spaces. iPhone users can download the app for free via the Apple App Store by using the search string Santa Monica Parking. An Android version will be available in coming months. Users can customize their parking options based on price, total time required for parking, and distance. For more info, go to smgov.net slash parking. From a 90-year-old inner dancer to a Jewish soldier's encounter with the Pope after World War II, the latest edition of Writings from Emeritus is a compelling collection of short memoirs. The newly released issue is the seventh volume of an annual publication from an autobiography writing class at Santa Monica College's Emeritus College for Older Adults. Aside from the inner dancer and Pope encounter stories, additional stories in the latest journal include a Holocaust survivor's encounter with the son of a Nazi. Some authors are experienced writers and others are publishing stories for the first time. Together, they provide evidence that the memoir is a powerful and popular art form, says class instructor Monona Wally. The journal is available for $7, checks only, through the Emeritus College at 1227 2nd Street, Santa Monica, California, 90401. For more information, email the instructor at mononawally at mac.com. Well, that's it for this edition of Santa Monica Update. And when you're out walking or driving in Santa Monica, be alert to what's happening around you. Keep your eyes moving and be careful. I'm Kina Chin for all of us at City TV. Thanks for watching. Check it out at the Santa Monica Public Library. Eat Well Week may be over, but why not make it a year-long habit? The library has lots of great cookbooks to help you on your way. Not only do these books have great recipes, but the simple art of eating well will also teach you what things to keep stocked and what tools you'll need. And if time is a usual stumbling block for you, Eating Well, Healthy in a Hurry has simple but tasty recipes that take less than 45 minutes to whip up. If carbohydrates are the issue, try the Eating Well Diabetes Cookbook with more than 100 tips for keeping those starches under control. And there's more than books that the library has waiting for you. Relax watching a DVD with health guru Dr. Andrew Weil as he shares his science-based advice on creating a practical diet. Parents might want to check out a book for the student in the household called Eat Well to start a lifelong trend of healthy eating for your offspring. For these and other books, audiobooks, downloadable books, CDs, and DVDs, check out our online catalog at smpl.org. Whatever the path you plan to take to have a better life in this new year, the library is here to help you get started.